Hi, welcome to the tutorial about Arch Linux Open Box. You see the system in front of you. We're working on Linux Mint 18.1, Serena 4.9.8, Kernel, latest ZSH, and a special kind of Arc theme, and the Sardimono Numix Colora icons. We have made already a tutorial on Eric2Portal.be on which we have made a base installation of Arch Linux. So the normal uh, packages are installed and we stop at Xorg or the drivers for NVIDIA or ATI, ATI I mean, and then desktop software and all that. We didn't do anything of those, so it's just the base installation, what I call just the base. All right. And let's do a tutorial on OpenBox. So I'm going to clone this one. It's 1.8 gigabytes if my memory serves. Let me check on my other screen. It's 1.6 or 1. Point. What's the name? Arch Linux. And let's ask properties. 1.7. Okay, <laughs> in the middle. So now we have here this tutorial and let's start it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a large screen as you can see big letters we have here the view scale factor on 200% so you can see just fine then we have this base installation kernel 4.9.6 by the way in a few minutes time we'll update to 9.7 first off we need to have git git is a powerful thing and we're going to install it. It's already installed, but I'm going to show you anyhow. So that's that. You need to, you need to have this in order to run this command. Git clone me https https slash slash and then github.com slash slash arch and then the desktop you are going to explore. Open the box. Then we're going to go in, let's do an ls first, there is it, let's go inside, check it, go inside, check it, check it like so, or check it like so, this will be the better one, since I want to point out that you have to run all these numbers. Alright, so something with numbers, let's start with zeros, we can install the for instance, this one for the world, or the other one for Belgium. It's going to install Reflector. Reflector is going to examine all the servers in the mirror list. It's going to see which is the fast one, and which is the slower one, and which is the slowest one. And the fast one go on top, and so on. Here are the measurements. And now it's going to make a nice list, sorting from the fast one to the slowest one. And an update as promised. Linux 4.9.7 is out. And it's going to be installed. There we are. So arrow up. This is the last thing we did. Let's go to this one. So these are options, possible options. ATI, Intel. Since I'm on VirtualBox, I don't have to think a lot. I have just to choose this one. Otherwise, you have to know what kind of hardware you have in your device. In some minutes we're confronted with a second choice and we take number two and yes confirm that you want it that was 30 let's go for 40 
We're installing Packer, a nice and easy tool to install all different kind of things like Spotify, Sublime Text and so on via the AUR. And then the most important one, the core. What is this about? It's about OpenBox, so OpenBox is going to be installed as well as the GNOME, the GDM, the Display Manager. So we log in in a black screen, the standard black GDM screen, and then choose open box rather than GDM. This is still basic stuff that we need, the open box things we're gonna need. Here it starts, and that's it. So open box is not that big regarding to the files. Uh, GDM is, however, is, is very uh, heavier, let's say. So that's 50. Let's go over to 100 and let's pass the movie here because 100 is a big chunk of software needs. Uh, Inkscape, GIMP, lots of stuff we need and we're letting it install everything and come back to you. Okay, that has been finished. So 100 is gone. There are others with a zero. So there's uh, the sound. Now let's start first with the printers. Let's keep it together. Be ready. If you type three times your password, if you remember. Done. Then, do we do need some music? Sound is going to be installed. And from time to time, we need our network. And then we're going over the extra software. So that's going to take the time to install new fetch, Spotify, Sublime Text and others if you want, but only those at the moment. Almost there. The hard-coded icons have been uh, eliminated. And now we are at 300. We're going to install the fun stuff, a nice font for conkeys. And this is Aureola, which is a conkey. Sardi Extra, all the experiments you can do yourself with the Sardi scripts. And then the Sardi themselves at a very low speed, unfortunately. So we gonna control C it. I'll run it again with some luck it will be even faster than waiting for it there you go a bit faster 15 seconds 16 seconds going down going down speed going up going down <laughs> all right We'll get there in 15 seconds. I shouldn't say that. It's Microsoft seconds, dear. <laughs> That's true. Come on, guys. All right. Sardi is installed. Surfing icons, great speed. Thank you, GitHub. And here we go with the art team, plank teams, the breeze snow curse theme, and we're done. That was 300, 400. What's that? That's something specific, software specific. And we're gonna do this is a gathering of all the interesting um, applications I found to be working comfortably and easy efficiently with open box like the open box menu generator it's a lovely tool i wouldn't have it any other way than just clicking and having a menu rather than doing it all manually so some of the things are great other things are hardly used so it's a mixture of all interesting applications for open box 
this one we're waiting for is player control. We have a keyboard, we have these sound buttons and play and next and stop and mute. So with this little code I can steer my keyboard for the next song in Spotify for example. Some open box themes you can try out. And then for 10, I've um, taken this little thing apart from the other script. I've taken it out of it since I want to really be sure that it's installed and it gives us some problem because of yeah, how it's based on the AUR. There are two packages inside and the two packages collide and they, they conflict and then it ends and nothing is installed. So I've added a little line in my script so that one of two, one of both uh, is installed. And as you can see, that's successful. 500 is Samba, meaning you want to share something over the net. All that starts with 600 has been moved to the specific folder for personal. So these are my personal settings. 700, we can't run it yet. So it's also moved to settings because of you need to install Firefox, I do run Firefox first. Something with eight, no. Something with nine, yes, two of them. So if you don't do these, you'll get a very nasty looking open box, meaning it's just a standard open box. What we do need is a pimped open box. So we're gonna use my settings, my personal settings. A lot of work has gone into, for instance, only keyboard shortcuts. So that's done and this one is uh, my settings to generate a menu and that's done like i said there is something else there is something a personal folder cd personal you i'm gonna go ahead of course let's check it out mm, do you need to do it i would suggest first time certainly certainly a virtual box install it see what it uh, gives from extra possibilities but 600 will provide with um, it's going to check is the folder pop, 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 existing if so do nothing else create a folder for instance the hidden folders icons of hidden folders themes things like that I am in a part of the world where I've learned to type with Azerti so I'm gonna change from QWERTY to Azerti and I am can't do anything about this message so cannot open display default display this is because of the command that's been issued I can't put it to quiet or something like that and then 6 and 5 install the personal settings bookmarks yep gonna need that as well so these are my uh, folders where I always go to so the actually bookmarks is it's called in, in the Nemo file manager and then 605, 610 is the keyboard shortcuts. It's not possible, it's, it's not necessary here, so not applicable. It, do we have the shortcuts in another way? Then, um, this was 610, 615. If you use GNOME screenshots, then it's now in GPG rather than in PNG. 620. The GIMP shadow scripts are being copied to the hidden folder from GIMP. If you ever run it, you'll have it. And 625 variety. Uh, you have to copy paste this. This you really should. Uh, you should do it if you use variety. It's uh, gone. It's gonna write some scripts away so that variety works on open box. So it's a little patch in the code and my personal config settings that of course you can change so 630 the plank I'm using the plank to have a nice overview of the 80% of the software I'm using all the time and then 635 Alcalora I haven't created anything yet so nothing is being copied and then the personal settings theme that was oh yeah that's gonna 
copy paste act my actual choice. I want this Sardi icon and I want this uh, font and I want this. So this is actually quite important. Without this, you don't see the same as uh, you'll see in a, a bit here. And then I'm using not Tin2 for a panel, but I'm using X4, XFCE4 as a panel. I find it very beautiful and small, transparent if I want to, let it hide so it's away, but it's there. So I think it's nice. It's all about choices in life. We're at the end. So we installed everything from this uh, personal folder. We have installed everything from here. Uh, UX, we have installed everything and it's time to reboot and see what is supplied, what we can see. We're gonna change some settings as well. So it's optimal for VirtualBox. Let's wait for it to boot. So I've changed already my scaling factor back to normal. This is a GDM greeting. Don't forget to use this first. Don't forget it. Open box. Otherwise you think, hmm, that kind of looks strange. This is open box. Thanks to my settings. There's a lot of things happening. There's a notify OSD that's popping up. Uh, Firefox is starting because of always what you do, you go to the internet, what you do, you listen to the music. And here is the plank already installed. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff, like so. You can do whatever you want. You can move the Firefox to there, and Sublime Text maybe to here, and so on. So move it around like you want. Let's close up Spotify. We're not gonna listen to music on a virtual box. And this is VirtualBox. Thanks to me, the plank is there. Thanks to me, you have a nice looking icon uh, menu as well. And let's do one thing and end the tutorial there. Let's check out the virtual screen. We could resize it to 1920 by 1080. We're gonna tell them that the screen has that size and hope for the best I do think he can do better I don't think that's correct what he does so virtual screen yeah this one let's try again now it will work I saw it flicker so this is the 1920 by 1080 and blank is crazy at the moment and we quit blank and we go back to blank and there you have it at the normal place so let's start from here the next tutorial is going to go into the details about open box